So, um, one of the things that also can be a challenge at times is having a camera in the position that you need it, or not having, um, like in need of a tripod, you don't have a tripod, or maybe you need to go really high. So one of the situations I've encountered quite a bit is wanting to get really high. And I have an eight foot ladder. So how do I put my tripod on that eight foot ladder? Or there have been times I've wanted to cram myself into some little corner and how do I, you know, get myself in that position? Well, if you can find something to clamp to, this clamp cost me under three dollars at home. Oh, no, actually it was Lowe's. I bought this the other night at Lowe's. So I was just, um, bought this, and one of the things about a lot of these clamps that I've noticed is that up here, they have this little hole. But if you feel in the plastic, underneath it, there's a little hole. So I took my X-Acto knife, cut out the little hole, and what size bolt? Quarter. Quarter. Quarter 20 bolt fits in the bottom, right? So, you take this little guy, you put it through here, and you take your camera, And then clamp it to whatever it is you have available to clamp to. And you now have a tripod that can go just about anywhere. Oh, maybe I could clamp it. Oh, sorry. You lost your rubber. Oh, I lost my rubber piece. Ah, oh, fell off. Okay. Oh, actually, I'll clamp this on the other one here in just a second as I show you this. So take it up a notch, okay? This is not bad. And I've clamped, you can clamp it like to the top of my eight foot tripod. It's got a nice place to clamp it to. But then, do you want to take it up even one more notch? And you can clamp either end here. So you can clamp either the front or the back. Lengthen that a little bit back. This costs about, um, they have all sorts of these. They're usually under $4 on eBay. And it's a little uh, ball head, mini ball head. And so you attach the mini ball head and then put your plastic thing back on the front. You know, I was looking on eBay for them. You could get them at B&H, but they were cheaper on eBay. New, you know, a lot of these little accessory things, if you buy them on eBay, they get shipped straight from China. And so there's no middleman or anything in it. So I'm going to sneak over here. So that entire little setup cost me $2.50 for the clamp, $3.90 for the little ball head. It's perfectly stable. And what does that add up to? $6, basically, a little bit of six bucks for the entire setup. So useful. <laughs> so cheap. So cool. Clams. Little money and students all go together. <laughs> okay. Now, a similar kind of idea, right? 
But let's say you're starting to get out and you're getting a little fancier and you're using some studio lighting and you want to be able to clamp a light somewhere. Well, also at Home Depot, they have these clamps that are called adjustable clamps, all right? So, here, is my strobe head. So now, if I either A, run out of light stands, by the way, I've had this happen to me, I've been setting up a fancy lighting situation, and I just run out of light stands. So annoying. You know, you need, but they're expensive. Light stands are expensive. So what do I do? I grab my ladder in my studio. I have two studios, two ladders in my studio. I've got a five foot and I've got an eight foot ladder, right? I cannot tell you how many times I've used them as light stands because I just bring them out, you take this clamp, again I'll come over here, or actually I'll just do it on the table, just stick the clamp on, take the light, nice. now there was a, by the way it didn't come this way, um, just so you know, and this is one that I'm actually not going to demo how to do, but the width of this was twice as wide, so you just take a hacksaw, and you just go down the plastic, cut it that way, until it's the right width to fit in a standard tripod stand. So it had to be modified, but I also um, um, own, and, th and then I have more of these, or, you know, so I'm gonna add more of these to it. I have this thing called a Bogan Super Clamp, which basically does the same thing, but it has some other nice things it does, but they're like $75. And this was five dollars. Yes, the 75 one does a couple other nice things, but this does most of what the 75 dollar unit does. And so it's just root, saw it, cut it off. There you go. Just a just a hacksaw. That's what I use to cut the plastic. So cool little clamp. Yeah, nice. Huh? Who wants it? Oh, there you go. Oh, thanks.